Hi, I'm John Moulis, and this is a test recording with the new Panasonic video camera camcorder. Now, I've got the light on now. I'm in Van's room, and I'll do a few muscle poses. Went to the gym this morning. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I'll take my shirt off. Yeah, here I am. Oh, I look good in the little monitor, don't I? Ah. <laughs> anyway. It should be fixed focus. It looks like it's, it's in focus. I'll turn it off. Well, that's... <laughs> it's a dull day today. It's raining. Doesn't look too good outside, but <coughs> that's it. And get a bit closer. Yeah, it looks like I'm I'm staying in focus. Fixed focus. Yeah. Okay. I'll turn on the light again. Oh, gee, it looks really rosy there, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway. I'm not talking very loudly here because Mum's in the other, in the other room. There's my Doherty's gym top. <laughs> Previous recordings um, we're all done with the Nikon, first the 3100 and then the 5100, but um, now I'm, I'm recording with the Panasonic V100, which I bought from Dick Smith Electronics today. I'll test out the, the focus. Here, yeah, there's my arm. My right arm, left arm with my 1989 tattoos on it, on them. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like this, eh? <laughs> Poser. <laughs> anyway, here's the, the instruction manual. I've currently got it on um, wide angle. The camera is only about six feet away. I mean, these are some of the two, the two camcorders that I bought before off eBay. I thought they were bargains, but they turned out to be bloody useless. This one came from Hong Kong. It's the Texon. Um, to give this one its credit, it had time lapse on it. Time lapse. And I, I wanted time lapse on a brand name recorder, but apparently none of the brand name recorders have time lapse on it. To do time lapse, you've got to buy a GoPro, um, which and it, it takes multiple images, and you've got to condense, combine them all together in a separate computer program. This one came from Hong Kong. I recorded a, a few. Um, movies with it. I I had it pointed out the window just there at me when I was doing the lawn, when I was mowing the lawn, and I did a time-lapse movie of me mowing the lawn. But generally speaking, it was it was bloody hopeless. I'm I'm going to take this in the box to Tiny's Green Shed out at the um, the rubbish dump here in Canberra. Oh, they call it the Resource Management Centre. You know, that's Canberra for you. I'm going to take that and... You know, it's still in the box and everything. This second one proved to be a major disappointment. Um, I bought it from Aldi out at Western Creek. 
It's Born Digital Video Camera. And that was even worse than the Hong Kong one. I mean, you look at the the pictures it produced and they're bloody hopeless. It really is pathetic. Um, that, that was a major disappointment. This cost, um, I think, $60 or, yeah, $60 this cost from Aldi. Um, they advertise it occasionally. Um, this is my advice. Don't buy it. It's cheap and nasty. Very nasty. It comes with this program called Magic X. And it comes with a CD called Magic X. And once you load it, it sends out your email address automatically to them. And you're inundated with spam emails. And you can't get off their mailing list at all. I'm still getting spam emails. I've just got to go through and... and delete them all without reading them but that one is going out to Tiny's Green Shed as well so that's stuff that I've got to send out um, there's the charger for it um, you leave the battery for the Panasonic, the one I'm using now, the, <laughs> the serious one um, you know you, you plug it in, it only took me um, two hours to recharge the battery for nothing. I mean, that is really good for first-time use. I mean, normally with these things you buy them and you're charging the battery for about 12 hours. I, I bought a digital radio, a pure Mini One digital radio, which had a battery pack in it, and it took nearly 12 hours to charge that battery pack. It's a, it's a good radio, though. It's got really nice sound. Anyway, um, that's about it for this test recording. Um, can't tell you very much more because this is the very first recording I'm making with it. So I'm going to go and turn on the computer and download it to the computer and see how it, how it turns out. But um, it seems to be fairly straightforward. I mean... Um, I haven't read the the instruction manual right through yet, but I read the first couple of pages which said basic recording, just press the record button. I've got it on a tripod. Um, thankfully, it had a, a thread in the bottom of it for a tripod. I mean, I was looking at the GoPro, and you actually have to buy a separate accessory to be able to mount it on a tripod. You know, you've got to buy head strap, you've got to buy remote control, everything. This doesn't have a remote control. I mean, no camcorders do. But um, that's really no no problem. I mean, I'm going to uh, use it for YouTube videos anyway. And um, I'll put this on my YouTube channel, my health and fitness channel, because, you know, I'm fit and healthy, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> in case you didn't see the first time and anyway that's about it I'll turn this off now and I'll download it to the computer see how it turns out but um, if it turns out alright I'll be using this one for my YouTube videos from now on and of course I use the, the NCH video pack for titling and post-production that's on my other health and fitness videos about the gamer scene and everything so um, anyway that's about it and I'll say goodbye to you best wishes and everything and I'll see you on Facebook I'll put this on Facebook and I'll consider putting it on YouTube as a test video and um, that's about it for now Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.